What's up everyone? Today I'm recreating this rad sunflower design I stumbled across Pinterest the other day. And this is what it looks like when it's completely done. My most ambitious project yet, so enjoy the video. I guess the first thing I had to do for this project was printing the picture I was gonna embroider. As you can probably tell, my printer must have gone mad printing this one. Messed up the whole color scheme. I guess that's what happens when you buy printer ink from eBay, huh? I was sort of forced to add another job to my list after this, outlining every detail with a pen. Not a great start, but it didn't kill me, so moving on. This paper I printed the design on is actually a water-soluble stabilizer. It helps keep the fabric in place while you try and force stretch it for embroidery. So because I was recreating an existing graphic, I wanted to get Get my thread colors as close to the photo as I could and this time it was more difficult than ever because you know lockdowns and all that stuff so I looked online instead. I used this DMC color card I found on some person's blog to compare the thread colors and I must say it saved me big time. Next I used a six inch hoop to start with. Plastic ones are ugly looking but hold the tension better than the wooden ones. Best needles for embroidery are the ones with big long eyes. I guess you can't see the damn thing very well. It's very hard to make sure things are in focus looking at the tiny camera viewfinder. But you get the idea I hope. I started with the yellow thread, separated the strands and used only two out of six in the entire design. I did regret the idea five minutes after I started but there was no way back. I was committed for it to look nice and neat though. Of course I knew it would take a lot of time. About that though I'll tell you later on. to finish a couple of petals in full with the outline just to see if the color shades would actually work. Kind of give myself that reassurance because I wasn't exactly convinced at the beginning. To be honest with you guys, the colors weren't as vibrant as I wanted them to be. The darker yellows especially, they're a little too similar to my liking. But at this point again, there was no way I would start over. Just had to make the best out of it, I guess. I basically wanted to get everything that would fit in the hoop embroidered there before moving the hoop further down the design. I used satin stitch on all the petals, trying to make the direction of the stitches make sense for each of them. And for the outline, I used all six strands of black thread and a stem stitch. Oh, and this is a French knot. I love this knot. Saved me a bunch of time on these seeds. It was actually a lot of fun to do. Once I was more or less done with that first hoop, I switched to a smaller one and moved on to a different part of the sunflower. I love embroidering using smaller hoops. It's all about the tension. It's especially nice if you're working on something detailed like this thing. This flower has a lot more smaller details than the previous one, so I decided to fill in all the yellows first and then the rest of the colors. This strategy doesn't make it for a better time lapse, but this is what I needed to do to see a bigger picture for myself at that point. And here's a little close up to show you how thin those stitches actually are so that you have a better idea about the time that it actually takes to fill in those petals. So back to what I was saying earlier about timing this project. I want to say the sunflower was time consuming, but it would simply be an understatement. So I thought it'd be fun to put that out there in some numbers. If you're not a math person, don't worry, neither am I. 
While I was embroidering, my camera was taking one photo every three seconds. The footage you're looking at has 24 photos in each second, pretty standard for film and video. If my math is correct, one second of footage has 72 seconds of film time, which makes it 72 times faster than the actual time. I know this might sound confusing, but stay with me. I actually sped up these 72 seconds by 200%, which basically means I shrunk it in half. That makes the footage you're watching 144 times faster than actual time I spent embroidering. This entire video has roughly five minutes of time-lapse footage. That's 300 seconds, which is basically 12 hours. And I didn't even film the whole time. Plus, I had to cut out some footage because I didn't want to make it boring for y'all. I'm still finding my voice in these videos, trying new things. Basically, I'm just having a go at it. So please watch till the end. It helps me get these videos out there for others to see. And back to timing, it's safe to say I spent at least 20 hours on the sunflower. Probably more, maybe a lot more like two weeks more. I'm getting closer to finishing this thing and I'm finally using my gigantic hoop. This project is starting to take some shape. Hand embroidery is a pretty big niche on Etsy. I thought it'd be fun to show you some examples of what people are selling, but mostly how much those pretty things cost. Here's the first one. This one is probably the simplest one I came across. It's in a six inch hoop, just two colors. One like that would probably take me up to an hour to make. 40 bucks is pretty reasonable. Next one is a little more difficult. There's more colors, it's a bigger hoop, four times the price of the previous one. Probably takes about three or four hours. This one has a lot more details, very difficult to learn how to do seven inch hoop pet portrait, 500 bucks. And here's another detailed one. Just to give you an idea why these cost so much, it's mostly time. But anyway, I'm getting dangerously close to finishing my sunflower, so I better get back to the topic. super fun project. I love the way it came out in the end. A little bit of summer is always good to have in the middle of winter, right? The fabric stabilizer disappeared somewhere in the drains after a machine wash, as it should have, and I don't have a problem with the somewhat messy back of the embroidery. The main thing is on the front, and that is definitely the most important thing. For those of you who made it all the way to the end of this video, I say thank you, and don't forget to subscribe. After many hours of slouching, I need my bed rest. I'll see you guys in the next one.